Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, KSI here, and today guys, we are going to be looking, of course, at a dual Lycanroc GX deck for post-rotation. Yes, there are five Lycanrocs in this deck. This deck gets crazy, it gets lit, it gets wild, but before we get into the video, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support recently. All the likes, all the feedback has been greatly appreciated. Ever since the Charizard Houndoom video, um, when I kind of opened up a little bit to you guys, um, the support has been amazing, so I want to thank each and every one of you guys for all the support on my channel it has been awesome and uh yeah we're gonna keep grinding it out so today guys we are going to be taking a look at a lycanroc lycanroc deck now this deck is weird and crazy and fun at the same time so lycanroc is a very good card because there are two of them there's two lycanrocs now obviously the better one has always been the bloodthirsty eyes one because the ability bloodthirsty eyes is incredible it's lysander in an ability not to mention it has a really good gx attack that can be really really useful when you want to take like a big knockout on something and then it has claw slash which can you know be used to you know just wreck something so overall lycanroc here has been the best of the two the other lycanroc we just finally got a full art in burning shadows which is pretty awesome um this lycanroc is okay it's never really been super powerful it actually i think it did pretty well at like a tournament i think it beat out mega rayquaza or something like that um now this is an okay card it's got the attack crunch which is decent it can be used as a good way against like decidueye or something like that something that needs like two energies um a cell rock is a good attack too um it does more damage than claw slash on the other lichen rock on the midnight form but a cell rock needs more energy so it's not as useful lichen fang is okay the problem with Lycan Fang, when you compare Lycan Fang to Dangerous Rogue, it's like Dangerous Rogue is clearly going to be the winner here um, between what GX attack you're going to use the most. But this Lycan Rock is still good. It can do more damage sometimes. Plus, it can be a bit more disruptive than the Bloodthirsty Eyes Lycan Rock. I mean, the Bloodthirsty Eyes one is technically disruptive, pardon me, with the ability. But the Crunch one is, I think, just as good. Because you can crunch your opponent and kind of stall them out a little bit. Um. Then you have this Lycanroc here, which just came out in Burning Shadows. I really like this Lycanroc quite a bit. I think it's actually a pretty decent Lycanroc. Um, it's got the attack Dangerous Claws, which if your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, this does 60 damage. So it's a great way to donk stuff like Vulpixes and you know, Rowlets, Romantis, other Rock Ruffs. Um, it can take out Tapu Koko with Flying Flip in one hit too. So there's a lot of different Pokemon Dangerous Claws can work in. It's not to mention you slap a Choice Band on... You're one-shotting Darkrai GX, Darkrai EX, Drampa, and Tauros, which is really good. So, we are going to be playing one of these Lycanrocs. Not only is it a non-EX, non-GX Pokemon, meaning that if this thing gets knocked out, your opponent only takes one prize, so it's not like they're really getting a lead on knocking out a Pokemon. Um, corner isn't the greatest attack because, I mean, it's nice to have, but unfortunately with Guzma in the format, it's like, corner will never really work, but it's an option if you really get desperate. Um, we can also donk with this thing, which is kind of why we play Wally. Wally flows nicely. I mean, you could maybe turn one donk someone. If they open up with, like, a lone Beldum or something, and uh, you have a Rock Rock Active and an Energy in your hand, you can literally, if you get Layla, you can drop it, you know, Wonder Tank for Wally, and then you can just Wally into Dangerous Claws and just immediately donk something, um, which is going to be really cool. So, I mean, that's kind of why we do have the Tapu Lele and the Wally in the deck. Um, that's kind of the combo there. Wally you can take out, but I like the Wally in the deck. Um, also, the fact that Rock Rock has 60 HP, and um, there's going to be positions and situations where you put an energy on Rock Rock and say, alright, I'll pass next turn, I can probably get a Lycan Rock go, and L will be good. Then your opponent, um, Lele, DCE, then the Guzma, and then they knock out your poor Rock Rock. Those situations will be very common. That's why Wally's in here, so that you can straight up evolve into one of the Lycan Rocks. So this way, you don't have to worry about losing your Rock Rock super early on, because... Lycanroc doesn't need two energy to attack, which is quite a bit of energy. So with Wally, you kind of just get out of that. And you're probably like, what? I thought Wally was uh, rotating out with the Roaring Skies. It is not. It actually got reprinted in Generations. Um, so yeah, those are all Lycanrocs. We got Bloodthirsty Eyes, we got Crunch, and then we have the Dangerous Claws one. So there's different Lycanrocs. It's pretty lit. I know there's another Lycanroc too, but it's not as good. Um, so the other cards in the deck, we got a 2-2 Carbon Klein. Diamond Gift can be really good in the late game, since again, Lycanroc needing 2 energy to attack means you're going to take a few turns to build it up. Sometimes you can't afford that, so with Diamond Gift, it kind of allows you to just build up your Lycanroc a little easier, and um, yeah, that's kind of why we got the 2-2 Carbinks. We also have one Zygarde. Zygarde I find really useful because 
it's just a nice card to have in a lot of situations where you can just take a quick knockout with Lance Bolts or Cell Storm. It's kind of like a baby version of the Dangerous Claws one, not really though. It does have a lot of HP, it's got 190 HP, so it's literally just 10 less HP than Lycan Rocks themselves, and it's only a basic EX, which is kind of insane. Um, Zygarde is just a really good attacker, Cell Storm can be very nice. Um, so we're just going to play one Zygarde here. It can also be a good way to apply early pressure. You know, if you get a strong energy in play, get a stadium in play, you know, Lance Pulse is doing 60 damage, which isn't bad. So we can put early pressure on with Zygarde, which is the plan. We do play one Coco in the deck, just because it's nice to have a free retreater in a deck like that needs Guzma. And also, we already play DCE for Lightning Rock Midnight Form. We may as well play one Flying Flip. Fine Flip is another good opening. Um, Zygarde and uh, Carbink and Tapu Koko are probably your three best starters to open with. Just because you can, they're good walls, like, right, you know. Tapu Koko's got Free Retreat, can take a hit, plus you can Flying Flip if you want. Zygarde's pretty tanky, can apply early pressure. Sometimes Carbink can't even be damaged, so. This deck has some good starting Pokemon, which is a bit of an advantage, right? You have some good Pokemon to open up with where you kind of build up your Rock Ruffs. Um, we got our two Leleys, of course, Wonder Tag and Energy Drive, which goes well to DC. And we go to the trainers, we got our two Field Blowers. Obviously, we're going to be playing two at this point. One is no longer a thing, it's always going to be two to get rid of Stadiums and Tools and Garbo Doors, Garbo Toxin. We got one Rescue Stretcher to get back our Pokemon, four UBs, four Ultra Balls to search out your Pokemon, three Brooklet Hills to be able to get your Pokemon in play. Now, the only issue with Pulse Rotation, we lose big cards like Level Ball, which really hurts the search for these type of like decks. They have like weak Pokemon like Carbink and Rockruff. So we're going to be playing Brooklet Hill just as a way to slap a Rockruff on the bench for free. It does help our opponent too sometimes, which is a bit upsetting. Like if Level Ball was still in the format, it wouldn't have to. But I mean, if you think about it, it's not an item. So there you go. If you really think about it, we don't even have as many items as you may think. Um, you know, we got, what, two blowers, one stretcher, that's three, that's seven with the four ultra balls, that's ten, and that's, we only play 12 items in the deck, so Garbodor isn't even going to be doing a lot of damage half the time. So, there are some positives to having Brooklyn Hill over level ball in this deck, um, it counts as a not, not an item, so look, like, we're not playing many items in the deck. Uh, we got two Ace Rollas, now the reason we play Ace Rolla, it's a really powerful card. When you attack with Zygarde, when you attack with, you know, Coco or Lele, you can just return them. But the big thing is Bloodthirsty Eyes. Bloodthirsty Eyes, um, you get a one-time use unless you play something like Devolution Spray. So with Ace Rolla, if our Lycanron gets damaged, not only do we deny the prize card your opponent could easily just take on us, but we can also use it for Bloodthirsty Eyes again if it ever pops up. Then we don't have to waste our Guzmas. I mean, three Guzmas is still good, but without Be a Seeker, it's very easy to lose them with Sycamores. That's why we got Ace Roll in here. We do play one Bridget just in case we turn one Bridget and we get our Pokemon going. Three Guzmas. We are still going to play three because, again, you are going to discard Guzmas early on sometimes. So, like, late game, it's not like you can just via Seeker for Ly Lysander or Guzma now. It's like, you may only have one Guzma left in your deck, or you might not even have any left because you discarded them so early on. We got our four ends for draw support. We got our four Sycamores for draw support. Of course, we got our one Wally. Already went over that. And we got our three Choice Bands so that we do more damage. We got two Float Stones. I know Guzma's in the format, but Float Stone I like having just so you can retreat. Like, you know, Zygarde has a three retreat cost. Lycanroc has a two retreat cost. It's just nice to have. Uh, four Strong Energy so we do 20 more damage. No brainer there. We got our three DCE so that we can attack with Coco, Lele, and Claw Slash in two turns instead of having to build it up like in three turns and we got a total of six basic fighting energy so that we can do obviously more damage as so we can have more energy i don't know why i said do more damage but yeah this is my lichen rock lichen rock lichen rock deck for post rotation the dual lichen rock deck returns folks with a bang and let's see if this deck has the potential in post rotation unlike pre-rotation let's all right it. let's go find our first game here with dual lichen rock the party begins and we are going to be playing against Wow, 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 I don't even know anymore. England is my city, but I can't pronounce his name. Now, he was playing, I saw Psychic, Fire, and Colors, so rip in the chat. It might be your boy Garbolder with Flareon. We'll see. Hopefully, it's not. Hopefully, it's not. All right, sweet. We're going to go on the coin. We are going to lose it, which, you know, obviously, when you're playing something like Black Rock, it's never good. It's cool, though. Let's see what our opening hand is. Carbink and Lele, okay. That's not bad, because obviously we get Lele for Bridget. Open with Carbink, again, one of our best starting Pokemon, as stated before. 
So I'm cool with that. That works for me. Works for me. Okay, so we'll see what ends up happening here. Ideally, we'll get probably two rock roasts and maybe a cocoa. I think. I don't think I'll go through three rock roasts, depending on what my opponent's playing. <laughs> it I'm, I'm taking my time here, though. Taking my time. All right, come on, come on. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing this, but again, this is pre recorded. So I must have been like on my phone or something. Are you got? Are you gonna choose the deck? Are you, are you gonna choose it? Nah, it doesn't look like it. All right, there we go. Ooh, one second remaining. That would have been close because I would have had to put Lele on my bench, I think. So my opponent is playing Volcanion. I didn't see any water though, so that's interesting. Because usually when you see Volcanion, the fire and the water will be right beside each other. Because Volcanion is a both a water and a fire type, so. Maybe it isn't Volcanion, Volcanion. I wonder what the baby Volk's for. So landed going down. Oh, I guess he's playing Salazzle GX. That's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. So we're going to see a float stone go on to Volk. Okay. What else? Just a pass. Okay, cool. Alright. Ooh, look at that. We just topped like Rock Ruff. Um, so we'll Lele for Bridget still. Still obviously the better play. Um, oh, Bridget is not in the deck. What do you know? Now, I could go for Wally if I want. But I think it might honestly be better just to attach in Sycamore. Alright, let's see. Okay, we got another Rock Ruff. We do get Zygarde also, which is nice. Might need that. Alright, I think I'll pass for now. Seems to be good for me. So what else my opponent can do? I, I guess it is a Salazzle Volk deck. Yep, Salazzle going down. Definitely a Salazzle Volcanian deck. And there is Professor Sycamore for my opponent. He's going to discard a DCE, so he plays DC. So I guess he plays more Fire Pokemon with DC? I don't know. So we'll find out. We see a Young Goose go down. My boy Young Goose. Donald Trump confirmed is in his deck. I guess he plays Gumshoes too. I don't know. Um, so we're going to get a knockout on our Carving. But that's fine. We already lost Carving Break. So it goes nicely. Toptic Lycan Rock. Question is, do I want to go Crunch? Or do I want to go for Bloodthirsty Eyes? Might be better for Bloodthirsty Eyes. The unfortunate thing though about this. We actually can't knock him out with our... Um, with what's his face? With... Crunch or Dangerous Rogue, sorry. We can't Dangerous Rogue the Salazzle, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm probably not going to do Bloodthirsty Eyes, so we'll just drop Choice Ban. We'll Lele for Sycamore here. I'd rather Sycamore than Ed. I need to find the DC here. We need to attack the Salazzle. We can't let Salazzle start taking prizes because then it gets a little scary, so we're going to have to go Sycamore and just pray that we get DC so we can start to two-shot him. Hey, we got it. Well, we actually could do Diabolical Claws too, but then we can bring in Zygarde and stuff. I think this works out, because we can Claw Slash him for 130, and then he hits me for probably Diabolical Claws, and then maybe we can let him, and then we can try Ace Rolla. Let him damage me, do Ace Rolla, bring out Zygarde, knock him out that way. I think that'll be a good plan, so it'll take a few turns, but it'll it'll be fine. I mean, assuming he's going to do Diabolical Claws here, he's going to try and, or Queen's Haze, sorry, he's going to do Queen's Haze. I forgot, Queen's Haze GX. He's probably going to Queen's Haze GX me here to try and, um, Move all my energy. And then we let him attack me for 110. And then we're going to ace roll of the Lycanroc into Zygarde. And then go from there. We see a Turnator GX go down too. We see another Salandic coming down. Some more Pokemon. I mean the good thing is Gumshoes is such an easy knockout for us. Because it is weak to fighting. Let's see what else my opponent can do here. We see a Choice Band go on to Turnator. And we see Queen says GX. And we're going to lose our energy. Alright cool. What do we top deck? Choice Band. That works too. But, unfortunately, we can't really play it, so I think we'll attach to Zygarde. And we'll pass. We'll let him damage me, then we'll do Ace Rolla on our Lycanroc. Uh, we'll put Rockruff down, I guess. Sure? Yeah, might as well. Have another Bloodthirst guys at our disposal to maybe knock out Gumshoes if we need a quick, easy pick. Seems good. So we're probably going to see a um, 110 damage. He knows I have the Ace Rolla, so he knows what I'm planning. But the question is, is he going to do anything about it? Is he going to end me? An end could be devastating, because we might not be able to retreat. Oh, he's going to Guzma. I mean, that works too. And he breaks up the other Lycanroc, really? Now I'm even more confused. I, I'm surprised he didn't bring out Zygarde, but that works too. Because he could have hit me for 110, and then he could have knocked me out with Gumshoes the following turn. 
So, yeah. Questionable play for my opponent, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not going to complain at all. It's pretty nice. Search of premises. I mean, he knows I got Ace Roller chilling in my hand. So, I don't really know why he did that. I mean, I could have Ace Roller Zygar too if I really wanted to, if he did go with that play. But, I mean, sure. We can't knock him out, though. I think we're only doing 70. You know, we're doing 50. Yeah, he's going to survive with 10 HP. We need to find an energy here or a stadium card to knock out this uh, Slazzle. Yeah. Okay. So we've got strong energy. That works. So we are going to take a knockout with Zygarde here, which is going to be the plan. We'll put down Rock Rough. We'll put down Lycan Rock. And yeah, we'll uh, just take it out. I mean, I could put Choice Band down too, but I think we'll wait just in case. You never know. We don't really need it for the uh, Gumshoes quite yet. If we find another energy off my prize, which I didn't, so never mind. I was thinking just Lance Rave, the Gumshoes, but it's whatever. We can keep the Choice Band for the Zygarde. Plus, if I attached it, he had Field Blower, he would've gotten rid of two choice bands, so would've been a little scary. Um, I mean, he can't really do anything with Gumshoes. He can do 100 damage to me. He can't do Gumshoes Champs because he already used his GX tech, right? So, he can do 100 damage and then we just knock him out with Zygarde. And then at that point, all we need to do is knock out that Turnator GX and we win the entire game, so. This game should be wrapping up shortly, but you never know, my opponent could have some tricks up his sleeve. He could have a few hat tricks, you know what I mean? So, yeah, he's going to bring out the gumshoes. Again, he could do 100, but then Zygarde just sell storms, knocks him out with the choice band, headbutt bounce for 100 damage. Okay, cool. What do we top deck? Another Lycanroc. Well, don't need that. Obviously, we're going to not need that. I'm going to just Ultra Ball away. I'm going to get rid of Bridget Brooklyn Hill. I'm just going to lose Brooklyn Hill because I'd rather not have it just because of, uh, he might have Volcanion next in the deck. So we'll get Lycanroc out of the deck so we can have that Bloodthirsty Eyes play for next turn on that Turnator. So we'll take him out. Plus we can heal ourselves so now Zygarde doesn't have as much damage on it. Which is pretty awesome. So we'll take our prizes. Got a Stretcher. We got a Sycamore so now we have a Supporter for next turn. We got Stretcher which means I can bring back those Carbings which I kind of want. So we got a really good hand going here. What is my opponent able to do this turn? He can't do Nitro Tank so he's not, he's not going to have an easy way to just build up energy because he has 4 in the discard. He can't do Nitro Tank so... That plays out the window. So see if my opponent's got anything. I don't know. We see Ultra Ball for Salazzle. He can hot poison me, I guess. Could put some damage on me, but he doesn't have an energy. He can't really follow up with it really a lot, so this could be good. So yeah, he's gonna drop down the Salazzle. He's gonna hit me with a hot poison. I could stay burned, maybe that is an issue, but we're kind of healing ourselves anyway, so it's like Technically Salazzle is doing zero damage because we can heal with Solstorm, so it's not like it's a big deal. And alright, sweet. So we are still in. Okay, yeah, we're gonna stay Baron Eric. Cool. So we'll bring out that uh, Turnator. We got Guzma too. Wow. I could Guzma out of that, but I'm gonna go for Sycamore. I wanna try and get more energy down just in case. We need to be prepared for the worst case scenario here. I could have Guzma, but again, the poison's not doing any damage because of Cell Storm. So. Well, it kind of is because every other turn. But you get my point. I'd rather try and get more energy and play this turn just in case. I'm trying to be careful here. Eight. All right, so we've got some energy. Um, we'll just attach to... We could Lance Wraith. It doesn't knock him out. He actually survives, I think, with like 10 HP or 20 HP. So that kind of sucks. I think we'll just build up... Mm, I don't know what to build up. We'll build out Lycan Fang. That seems fine. So we'll Soul Storm him here. We do have Guzma in our hand also, so... I think we win the game next turn. Unless my opponent, like, heals or, like, retreats. Even if he heals, we just knock him out Lance Wraith, so... Yeah, the only way he can get out of this would be Ace Rollis Turdinator, or he knocks out my Zygarde. Even then, I think we're still okay to win the game, so. Looks like this game is about to wrap up very, very shortly, folks. And you can see, Jai, there you go. Looks like we're just going to get the free win in anyways. That was a pretty decent match. Um, don't know where my opponent's really running there. Uh, I guess we'll check out his deck. We're going to get the present. Are we going to get anything? 25 coins. Cool, I'll take it. Um, they have Noble Victories in the shop, so I might try and go for that. Plus, we have a daily fight Evo. Kind of what is what inspired me to do this video anyways all right so it looks like it's a fire deck it, does, it looks like a pretty casual deck with like drampa and stuff so that's good he had drampa which was easy but yeah we'll find another match with our like rock deck so see you guys all in right just let's moment. get another match with the deck we are on a winning streak of five also we're very close to getting 150 coins if we can take two prizes we're gonna get them so it looks like we are gonna get a pack opening um in the shop right now there are noble victory packs so i'm honestly kind of stuck and torn between buying noble victory packs to try and get another full art end so I can get a full play set of them for post rotation or continue grinding to get um, burning shadow packs. 
probably at this point, it's better off just to get the Noble Victories. All I'm really missing from Burning Shadows is Mars Shadow and Gardevoir. I'm not really playing on any Gardevoir decks anytime soon. I feel like that is just oversaturated. And, um, plus, I mean, Mars Shadow I'm going to do at some point because it is an interesting card. Unfortunately, we do get a bit of a weird hand here. Uh, we are playing against Gardevoir, though, which I'm actually curious to see how this game will go. Gardevoir could be a tough matchup. Unless we can pick off the Ralts early. Hopefully this dude is playing pre-rotation. Or post-rotation, sorry. That'd be great. So our hand's a little awkward. I think it's best to maybe just get rid of Carbink and Lycanroc. I guess. I might just go Bridget here for Lele. Just so I can keep the Lycanroc. We can draw an extra card and maybe that'll change things. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I think we'll get rid of Fighting Energy and Lycanroc. I think maybe what we'll do here is we'll try and go for a uh, thing. We'll try and go for like a big knockout or something. Next turn. We can maybe Bloodthirsty Eyes, Find Float, next turn Retreat. I don't know. Um, let's just check what's in the deck. So I think we'll bridge it for two Rock Ruffs and I guess Tapu Coco? Sure. Don't know if we'll need Tapu Coco right now, but I mean, might as well grab it. You never know, we can maybe get some early turn flying flips off for a bit. So we'll grab two Rock Ruffs and a Coco. And I think we'll attach, and we'll pass. So, sitting okay right now. We do have an energy in our discard, so, you know, if we don't hit an energy, at least we can maybe do Diamond Gift. I'll probably try and knock out a Ralts. Oh, he just passes. We might actually win this turn. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Don't, 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 don't guarantee it, though, fam. I really don't want to put Lycanroc down now, but whatever. Alright, let's go Sycamore. Do we find an... A floatstone and a DCE, we don't. We came close, but we didn't hit it. I think I'm just honestly gonna just go for a good old diamond gift and just threaten the win next turn. Um, I'll just put an energy on the other rock rough. So we already have an, we already have a DC in our hand. Next turn, I'll probably just do Wally into rock rough here and go for Lycan Rock. And oh, my opponent concedes. So yeah, there we go. This is this is confirmed 100%. No hacks required. How to beat Gardevoir with Lycanroc. That is how you beat Gardevoir and Lycanroc. You just win because they don't have anything. But we can actually buy a pack now. And, oh, we're getting close to doing this challenge. I guess we got pretty lucky that my opponent didn't draw anything. Oh, it was pro rotation. Alright, good thing we won. That could have gotten annoying. Because he had access to VS Seeker and we didn't. Um, but, we are going to get some coins here. We have 333. So, we can definitely buy a pack. If I can get 450 coins, we could buy a Burning Shadow pack and a Noble Victory pack. But I am going to be buying Noble Victories, guys. I honestly care more about a Full Art End than a Gardevoir. I have more than enough packs to be able to buy Gardevoir. I have more than enough money to buy more codes to get Gardevoir. So at this point, I'm more concerned about getting that last Full Art End. Which, you know, I think I'd, ra I'd rather get a Full Art End than pull a Gardevoir or, or like a Mars Shadow. Not to mention, my pull luck with Burning Shadows has been absolute trash. So let's just open up this Noble Victory pack and let's pray to the PTCGO gods that we pull. A full art end. That'd be great. That'd be a second locked one, too. Alright, let's see. Come on. Full art end. No, Caracosta. Alright, we got an electric, which isn't bad. That's a playable card. We have six of those, so we can trade one off. Got Eviolite, not terrible. We got a Moongus. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm, we can do something with that and expand it. I'm going to do an expanded to Viper's deck sometime down the road. Just trying to decide what the best poison Pokemon to use it with are. If it's like, oh, do I use it with Toxicroak EX? Do I use it with Toxapex GX? Do I use it with Krogunk and Toxicroak? I am so confused. So I'm going to be sorting out that. Uh, but we'll make a fun little Rogue Viper deck in the expanded format. Because there's more fun in expanded with poison than there is in standard. Let's be real here. Alright, so we are going to be playing against a... I have no clue. Oh, it's probably Garbodor. Alright, let's see what we get on the coin flip. Hey, we win it. It's probably Garbodor. Pulse Rotation. I don't know why people are still playing Pulse Rotation. There's no need to play Pulse Rotation. Um, as stated, Pulse Rotation is basically done. There's no point in playing any Pulse Rotation decks at this point. I don't understand why people are still playing Pulse Rotation. Um, but you know what? Uh, a subscriber of mine even said, well, they're going to be at a huge disadvantage when Rotation hits because they've been so busy playing Pulse Rotation that they're not even going to be ready for pre-rotation. So they're not going to be prepared so that's going to be good. I, I don't know if that's going to happen, but people still play Pulse Rotation. Go play Pre-Rotation because Pulse Rotation is basically a dead format at this point. There's no point in playing it. It's just putting more PDC Joe YouTubers and other people in misery. 
Alright, I was I was buffing. I thought it was gonna be a guard a Garbodor Flareon deck, because the fire would have been Flareon, but once again we got two Lycanrox. Hmm. I think we can just go for crunch at this point. I'll get rid of carbon break. I'll keep the two Lycanrox in case we need to do bloodthirsty eyes, in case we don't. And I think we can drop a Lele here for Bridget. Yep, cool. We'll drop Lele for Bridget. Works for me. We'll get two Rock Ruffs for sure. I might even honestly grab Coco. He's playing Delphox, which I already know what I'm expecting. I'm expecting once he gets multiple Delphox in play and Delphox breaks, this deck can be actually become pretty threatening. So I gotta be ready for that. I think I'll just grab two Rock Ruffs and a Carbink. I don't expect my uh, Carbink or Rock Ruff to be knocked out. Hopefully it doesn't. I kind of regret putting the strong energy on it, but. We can punish a play where if my opponent doesn't get a lay lay down, we're good. I doubt he plays DCE though. Oh, actually no, because I think Psy Storm. No, I think he would play DC because I think Psy Storm is for every energy I haven't played, not just fires. So yeah. We'll see if Delphox is good or not. I, I've always wanted to make a Delphox video, but I just never got around to. Doesn't help that I don't have any Delphoxes, but we'll see. Invite out. What does that do? Okay, that's actually good because he could have easily swapped. Ooh, look at that. All right. We are just going to drop down this Lycanroc here. Might as well drop down this Lycanroc. We can use Bloodthirsty Ice, but it's fine. We still have the Ace Rollers. We still got another Lycanroc in the deck, too, so we're all good. And do we hit the energy? We indeed do. Um, I might as well put Coco down. Just in case he does do Invite Out. And we will crunch him for the KO. And switch. Oh, no, he gets to switch. Okay, never mind. That's fine. We got Guzma. Look at that. It doesn't even matter. Let's see if my opponent can get anything going. I doubt it. I mean, we're, we're in a pretty dominant spot here. We've only lost one supporter, so we're all good. We got Carbon can play too, so even if he knocks me out, we can Diamond Gift. And we could possibly Diamond Gift for a knockout, I think. Actually, no, we're doing 40. Ooh, my opponent also has Seeker Ultra Ball. My opponent is also in the bling. I mean, he's got basically the same kind of thing I got. He's got, like, the Flare Lele and, like, the Seeker Rare Ultra Ball. He's got the Harkle, so Silver Energies. All right, so I guess the play here is to... Um, to Guzma this out unless he ends me. Alright, Super Odd confirming he's gonna do Sycamore this turn. Oh no, end. Okay, we still have access to Bloodthirsty Eyes and Guzmas, so I'm actually hoping we can knock out Breakson. We need to shut down Delphox. Delphox can become a threat. Alright, we didn't get it, but we can still end for Ultra Ball or Lycanroc, so that'll be fine. Timer Ball, how many heads are you gonna get? Just one. So he's gonna get two Breaksons in play, um, but the best thing to do is knock out this Breakson here. Ooh, he's grabbing Delphox. I guess he got rare candy then. I guess we go after Delphox. We can knock it out with Lycan Fang, because Delphox only has 140 HP. We already have a strong energy on Lycan Fang, so we can actually knock him out with Lycan Fang. And as much as I don't want to do it, I might have to put the DC on my Lycan Rock here just so we can take a knockout. I don't like I'm I'd rather just not risk it and not hit the energy. I mean we could obviously not hit Ooh, that works too. Okay, so I think we end him here. Alright, if we don't hit the um, Bloodthirsty Eyes, I'm going to be a little sad. A, we didn't hit it. Rip us. Um, I would put Brooklyn Hill down, but I don't want to risk him having Bolt Picks in the deck. I think we just Assault Rock him. I mean, I doubt he's going to knock me out next turn. He's going to need a lot to do a knockout. So I think we're going to live. The only issue is we don't really have any supporters. We've only used two so far, so hopefully our luck changes. Um, but yeah, I doubt he's going to knock me out this turn unless he gets really lucky. I mean, that, that works too. That, that lets him do more damage. Timer Ball, let's see Double Tails. Yes. Is this why Timer Ball is untrustworthy, people? And he's going to end me. Yes. All right, sweet. We might still be in this match. I need to find another energy, because if we can hit, take a hit, we'll need to have more energy to build up our other Lycanroc here. Okay, we got Rescue Stretcher. Maybe we can force him out or something. I don't know. Oh, okay, so he did hit heads. He's going to get a Delphox here. But again, without Delphox break, he's a little on the slow side. Oh, it's all Pokemon in play. Uh-oh. Hmm. I think that might actually be a knockout. Because we have 6 energy, so he's doing 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. Nah, 160. Still a ton of damage. He's 10 short without a choice band, unless he can get another energy and play and a choice band. Ooh. Flickering Flames. Okay, I see. That could have gotten ugly. Um, 
I don't know if I want to end him, but we need to fight energy. So I think we're gonna get knocked out next turn. But I really don't want to end him. He's gotta he's gotta have a supporter. Let's just go for it. Alright, we got an energy, we're all good. We good. I mean I could even try to do diamond gift. We'll just do this because we still have a few DCs in the deck. We'll just take him out the Cell Rock and force him to have to have a knockout this turn. But I think he does. He's definitely gonna be able to knock me out, I think. But you know, I cannot put in work. If he doesn't knock me out, I might even do Ace Rolla and then go Diamond Gift. I don't know. We'll see if he does find a knockout here. I mean, a Cell Rock was able to one-shot him. Claw Slash won't cut it, because we're only doing 130. So. I might even try and build- ooh he, ooh, he discarded another Delphox. He's really digging here. Oh yeah, I knew- I forgot. I still need to get some, like, fuller Guzmas and fuller Ace Rollas, which... Guzma is kind of expensive right now, so I don't know how that's gonna go down. But I knew need to find some more of those. So I'm probably- I'm probably gonna be doing turning grindings at some point. Right, it looks like he has Rare Candy Delphox. Right? Yeah, Rare Candy. He's using the Plasma Blast one, too. This guy's really rich in a dope. We still survive. Oh my goodness. I Okay, I thought he was going to knock me out there, but looks like we actually survived the hit, which is really surprising. We are going to get a present. Maybe we can get enough coins from this daily challenge and this present to be able to get a pack. Not 25. I think we got the daily challenge done, right? Oh, we didn't. Alright, we'll get another match in because that game was kind of short. We got 110 coins, so we might be able to buy a pack by the end. We're going to get a Talon Flame soon, meaning I can trade off one of my Talon Flames. Alright, so we'll find another match here with the Lycanroc deck. That Delphox deck can get very scary when it gets going, but unfortunately my opponent didn't really have the best of luck there. Um, but it is an interesting deck, and it looks like playing Tense on Fire, who is definitely playing some kind of Garbodor deck. It's definitely Garbodor Evolutions, because, you know, why would I play Pre-Rotation when I can play Garbodor? I don't know. Alright, so let's see what we're going to start with. Ooh, uh-oh. This ain't good. It looks like we might actually lose our win streak, guys. I mean, he could be playing Mega Ray, too, but I don't know why he played Mega Ray. Oh, he is playing Mega Ray. Still kind of scary. Resistance and the fact that, well, we can Dangerous Rogue, I guess. Sick more. That's not an end. That's not an end. That's not good. So I can forgive you, you're playing Mega Ray. Because, I mean, it's rotating soon, you might as well play it until it goes away, but playing a deck with pre-rotation cards is just silly at this point. Like, if you're just playing a normal deck with pre-rotation cards that isn't something that is rotating like Mega Rayquaza or Vespaquin, you're kind of a scumbag, because you're kind of putting yourself at a big advantage. Okay, we're probably going to lose next turn unless we can top deck something. Um, I mean, I guess that works. <laughs> My goodness. Alright, we could corner him and then force him to Sky Return. And then maybe we can Dangerous Rogue him. Let's just do that, whatever. I, I don't know if we can even win, let's be real here. Let's just corner him and force him to have to find a way to really... I don't know. He can't do Guzma, which is nice. Guzma only works if you have another Pokemon. If, they, if you have Pokemon Bench. And I guess we like Bloodthirsty Eyes, Dangerous Rogue, Rayquaza. And then we could maybe find some ways to get rid of Sky Field. I just gotta hope he doesn't get a knockout here. I doubt it. I don't. I doubt he plays any switches or escape ropes or anything like that. Any via seeker set too. Okay, good. I know I got complaints. I click on discard piles too much, but it's honestly so addicting at this. It's too addicting to do. Hey, look at that. We actually do confirm the KO. Pretty cool. Who knew Rockruff was so powerful? Let's just do Sycamore. Screw it. I need to get rid of Skyfield. I need to get more Pokemon down. I mean, that's not gonna work. I guess we do this. That sucks. Grab Rock Ruff. Oh my god, he conceded the game. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. We, we basically get another free win in. Holy cow. Is that the daily challenge done? It is. Nice. Alright, sweet. I mean, I'll take the win. We'll definitely get one more match in. All these early game wins. Who knew Lycanroc pre-rotation was so aggressive? Or post-rotation. I keep saying pre-rotation. Yeah, it looks like it was a Rayquaza Volk deck. I'm surprised he conceded, though. I mean, it's not like we were getting really many things going. Oh, one of these where we gotta choose a different type. I already made Noivern video. 
I miss? I mean, I'm sure we'll choose fire, I guess. I don't know. I might do a Volcanian bit. I don't know. Maybe I'll do another Salazzle deck. Alright, cool. We are going to get Talonflame. One of the best cards. One of the most underrated cards, too, to pull. Talonflame Break could also be a fun deck. Where I'm definitely going to... I have so many good pulse creation ideas at this point. Um, so we'll get another match with our Lycanog deck. We've only been recording for 15 minutes. I think that's, what, our fourth match or something like that? Like, these games have been zipping by. Which is hilarious. So, um... I want to get at least a real match in, like, that first game. Where it can actually be a long game. But I'll take the 8 win streak. I ain't complaining about that. I mean, I'm basically grinding the ladder with this, if you think about it. Dunk in the cord. Hey, we win the coin flip. Nice. Alright, let's see what we get here. Alright. That hand's actually decent. I don't really mind losing strong energies when carbon can easily synergize with that for a diamond gift. Kind of confused what we're playing against. If it's Dark Rye, be my guess. That's a free win. Marshadow. Okay. So we'll go for Bridget here. We'll get Carbank. We'll get Rock Rough and Rock Rough down. Okay, so all the likes are in the deck. Honestly, Crunch might be our best friend. If he's playing Marshadow Box, he's going to really heavily rely on... Um, he's going to really rely on Rainbow Energy. So we can easily win with Crunch. I think he's playing Dark Rye, though, with one Marshadow in his deck. Considering he's got a Dark Deck Box. But, I mean, Dark Rye is honestly our best matchup. Yeah, it is Dark Rye. Sweet. Look at that. We actually got a good matchup in. I would have attached the active, but I'd rather just not risk getting knocked out. I'm just going to play it safe. We still have Floatstone, right? So, let's see what happens here. Max Elixir, does it hit? It does. Ooh, okay. So, obviously, he's going to want to go Baby Veltal. But with Bloodthirsty Eyes, I mean, Dark Rye ain't going to be too hard. Wow, another strong energy? Really? Alright, I doubt we're going to knock him out this turn. So, I think I'm just going to put a strong energy on and go for Sycamore. We'll just corner him. Okay, we can do that too. I mean, I guess. Yeah, sure. Um, I might need the bench space for Lele, but he doesn't play any fighting or well, he might get another Marshadow down, but he doesn't need Marshadow. I'll grab Zygarde just in case we need something that can apply early pressure in case he does get a knockout. A little dangerous claws him for 80 damage. That's why I like this. Look at this. This is amazing. Not to mention, we find Choice Band. We're one-shotting Dark Rite EX. So that's going to be really awesome. This is why I like the Baby Lycanroc. Man's be sleeping on it, but nah, nah, nah. It's actually a pretty, it's a pretty good card. The only issue is my opponent could possibly put me under some pressure, but I think if he does, I think it's best just to DC, Guzma, corner, knock out that Dark Rite EX on the bench. That's going to be the play. Does he find a way to retreat Marshadow this turn? Guzma works, I guess. Alright, cool. Living Wing for 60. Alright, sweet. So, what do we top deck? I mean, that works too. Alright, so... I'm gonna have to corner knock out Darkrai, but that's cool. So, we will Guzma out the Darkrai here. We'll corner him. And we will knock him out. Sweet, there you go. This is why I like Baby Lycanroc, people. Not to mention it's only a one prize attacker. We can still put decent damage on Baby Veltal, too. There's a Sycamore, which I'd rather play at this point. So, cool. We're in a pretty good spot right now. The Lycanroc deck is proven to be pretty powerful. Alright, he's going to end me to four. I mean, can my opponent even win? The Marsh Shadow is super easy to KO. Darkrai gets one-shotted by Lycanroc. So, it's like, it's going to be tough. Eee, there's Lycanroc. How much retreat? Two? Dang it. I was thinking maybe I could retreat this guy. I might even honestly do that. Like, if we find Choice Band, Dangerous Claws is an easy way to one-shot Dark Rite. I might even... I think I'm going to go Crunch here just so we can maybe stall for a bit. Yeah, I'll Crunch him. Keeps removing his energy from play. From his hand, I guess. Might not be the smartest idea if you think about it, but I'll go for it. Or we could not go Marsh Shadow soon, but... Hmm... Alright, let's do Wally here so we don't draw into it. And I'm gonna get Carbink into play. So we still have our two Lele, still got three ends, three Sicka, so hopefully we can draw into one. But I'll keep this guy alive. Once we find strong energy, we're one shot and we'll one shot in my dude. So we're just gonna hit him for 30, get rid of his energy. I know it powers up thing, but we are he already has dark in the discard, you know. What's the point at this point? You know? We are gonna see a field blower. That works because I wasn't playing on Brooklyn Hill in any time soon. Basically have four rock roughs. In play, one in our hand, three in play. There's a Professor Sycamore. 
Jackie. I haven't seen a Dark Ride GX yet, which is interesting. I doubt he has a way to use his Jackstack. Lele Wonder Tag. Interesting. I wonder what he's gonna grab. Sick of for next turn. That works. Does he have an energy? Where does he put the energy to? I doubt he plays Ninja Boy. So. Okay. Ooh, he's putting out Lele. I see. Yeah, see. Look, he knew the crunch stall was gonna happen. So he attaches to Lele. And he concedes! I mean, another concede, another day moves on. The Psychon Rock deck is just too powerful to make everyone concede. We get 50 coins. I think we have enough to buy a pack now. Oh, we're so close to buying another Noble Victory pack. It's 250, so I don't think we can afford it. Unless we did this. I might open up a few chests. I want to just end the video off now because, I mean, it just proves that Lycan Rock is too powerful. It makes everybody concede at this point. Uh, how many chests do I have? Five. Alright, I'll open up a few. I want to try and get 250 coins. Alright, let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. No, I don't regret that. I know I, I mean, I can easily get chests, right? Oh, dang it. We're one coin off. Alright, let's see what we get here. Superior. That's another good pull. And... Five and a Mawile. That's another decent card. So there's like some weird Mawile, Victini, Delmize deck that people are talking about. But we will buy up a noble victory pack from the shop i want to end off the video with a pack opening video honestly i think at this point i'm just going to keep buying noble victory packs i really really want to get a full art end just so i can have four full art ends so i don't have to have one normal art and three full arts really awkward i could afford one but nah nah nah, nah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna buy we're gonna pull a full art end another electric and an electros we got Tynamo, electric and electros all in the same deck look at that i'll take three though no floor in, but we will. I did I get three Yamask? I think I got three Yamask. I didn't even realize it, but I think I got three Yamask. What are the odds? Alright, cool. Well, I think that'll wrap today's video. I know those games weren't very good. I mean, but that's just the aggressive nature of Lycanroc, I guess. Um, but we did show off the baby Lycanroc. We showed off everything we could. But that was pretty fun. Um, we're gonna pull it forward in eventually, people. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PDC deal content. Help me on the road to hitting 2,000 subscribers. And yeah, I'll see you guys on another PCO video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support recently. And I'll catch you guys on another video. Peace out.